This is Jerry Mischewski with Balanced Community Slack Science. We're out here in sunny Davis, California, and today we're going to go over how to get the most out of your static rope. So right now, I am wanting to set up this 250-foot Type 18 line, but I've only got 100 feet of static rope, and I'm using a 5-to-1 pulley system. And so that only gives me about 20 feet of tensioning room, which is not enough for this line. And so I'm wondering, how can I get more length out of this pulley system using this same static rope and the same webbing? So I'm going to go over a few techniques to do the so, and hopefully we can get this line tight. So let's get started. So, the first technique is the most basic one. I have a web lock 3.0 here, and I'm just going to install my webbing here just as normal, single wrap method. And I'm going to try and get as much slack out as I possibly can. So to do that, just pull on the tail there. And get as much as you can. And a nice technique is putting the line on your shoulder, the walking line, grabbing it, leaning forward as you pull slack. You can get quite a bit by doing that. Alright, as much as I can get, but I still don't think I have enough pulley system here. And so I'm wondering, can I make my pulley system longer? Is that possible? Indeed it is. So we're going to walk over here to the brake. As you can see here, I've got a knot in the tail to prevent it from slipping out while I was pre-tensioning with the web lock. So what I'm going to do here is pull in a little tension, take out your brake, take out the rope from the brake, put your brake down, and put that pin back in for now and leave this knot in the tail and walk it to the front here. So now I have just four strands of rope in my pulley system. So that means I gained about 20% or five feet in my case because I've got, I've got 100 feet of rope here. So again, we're gonna pull as much slack out of the web lock as we can. Same technique. Grab, lean forward, and pull. Grab, lean forward, and pull. That's about as much as I can get. And so, I think I don't have enough pulley still. So, the final technique we're going to use is need to pull a little slack there and take this knot out. Grab that same strand of rope, but on the other side of the pulleys. And pass it through, just like that. Now I'm going to walk this strand over here. And tie a knot in the rope once again. Just like that. There we go, walk back over to this side. And now we have 33 feet of pulley system. That's almost, that's 67% longer than our original pulley system. So we can pull a little slack out of here. I don't want to add too much because it's going to be really hard to re-read the pulleys. So I won't get as much as I possibly can there. Just a little bit. So now, I'm going to take this strand of rope Undo the knot and walk it towards the pulley system. Right now it's very helpful to have a handle to sender. We sell these in the shop. They're extremely handy. Right. Get as much as you can while holding on.
So if that happens and you can't quite reach it, we're going to do this technique. Pull some, slide up in the center. Pull some, slide up the ascent. Pull some, slide up the ascent. Pull some, slide up the ascender. And then let it jam into the pulley very nicely. And that's holding the tension. While we walk this strand, oh, I'll have enough. Gotta do it again. Pull some. Pull some. There we go. And we definitely should have enough here. Press it down like that. Pull it a little bit. And then tie a knot. And now we can remove this ascender by pulling it. And now the knot is here, holding the tension. And now we want to transfer the ascender to this side. Just like this. Put a jam up in there, just like that. And now our goal is to get this strand of rope to the brake. So we can do a little bit more of the pull and slide method. Same here. Pull. Pull, slide, pull, slide, until you got a decent tail there. And then you're going to take your multiplier and find the strand that is going to your sender here through this pulley, this one right here, and install your multiplier. And take the tail coming from the sender. Pass it through your multiplier pulley. Just like that. Slide it forward. And so when you pull on this, once this ascender here reaches the, the multiplier, it's going to auto slide for you. Like so. Watch. Pull it until it reaches that pulley. Very softly let go. Now slide this. Walk, do it again. Sliding that ascender forward. <coughs> now we should have enough that we can reach the brake. Which we did. Your break. And install it on the pulley. There we go. You probably won't be able to pull any tension out of that. So grab your multiplier. And install it as you normally would on the strand going to the brake. There we go. And apply a little bit of tension. And now we can remove this ascender. There we go. And I should note that having your ascender jam into that pulley can be very dangerous if you abruptly let tension onto it. So I suggest very easily letting tension onto the ascender because you can really damage the sheath of your rope, therefore having to retire that rope. And so that's a great method for getting up to 67% more distance out of your pulley system using the same static rope. I could set up a 400 foot line with this setup. And so it's really, really a nice technique. Uh, and that's, that's it. That basically covers how to get the most out of your static rope. Uh, once again, my name is Jerry Mischewski. Thanks for watching.
All right, so we're done slacklining, and uh, I'm going to show you how to detension this line when, after using the techniques for use, getting away with the shorter rope. Sometimes we don't have enough rope to fully detension the line, um, and so I'll show you how to get around that. So set up your redirect here with the carabiner, and detension is normal. A lot of the times the webbing will relax enough to where you can actually manually uh, let out the, the rest of the tension when you come to the end of your rope. Like it has here, I'll show you. See, we're at the end of the rope here, but the line's not fully relaxed. And so what you're going to want to do is first see if you can pull on this last strand. In this case I can't, and so what I'm going to do is just hold tension on the last strand here while I remove the brake, which may be hard in this case. So hold tension and remove the pin from this shackle and take out the brake. Just like that. Continue to hold tension while you remove the rope from the brake. Put your brake down and then just simply walk the last strand of rope towards the moving pulley. In most cases, this will be possible. But if you get to the point where you're at the end of the tail and you can't pull any slack through, or you can't hold that last strand, you can't hold the tension on it, you might have to do the techniques that I showed you before, but in reverse. And uh, the article goes into great depth on that. And so give it a read and um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you have them. Um, but yeah, that should, you should be able to release that without too much trouble as long as you didn't fully maximize those techniques out. Like instead of having three strands, you have two, even that's possible, but, but at the end you're going to have to do the reverse uh, in order to loosen the line. Um, once again, that's how you get the most out of your pulley system and get by with this uh, short static rope. Again, my name is Jerry Mucheski, and thanks for watching.